Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Cut. My name is Brian Lorenzen, and I am the host of The Cut. The Cut is the YouTube show from Sarah Tizit, where we bring you exciting and interesting topics from the world of Sarah Tizit. I'm uh, joined today by two of my colleagues, and we're going to be exploring one of our products, uh, which is really uh, effective and highly utilized in the um, uh, automotive market, the Maximil face milling cutter. Um, I'm really excited to be joined uh, by my colleagues, uh, Salvatore Leonetti, application manager for the automotive industry by us at Ceratizit, uh, along with Marcus Mack, who is the product manager for our automotive uh, segment. Hello, gentlemen, and thank you for joining me today on The Cut. Brian. Hello, Brian. Thank you for the invitation. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So today we're talking about the Maximil SEC 12 a uh, face milling cutter with suction effect. Um, Salvatore, tell me a little bit about this particular product and what is it capable of? Yeah, so the Maximil SEC 12, so-called suction effect cutter, is an amazing rough face milling cutter with PCD inserts. Um, the maximum AP is eight millimeter, and here you can see this milling cutter in real life. Well, the main benefit of uh, this SEC 12 is the perfect chip control achieved by the suction effect for nearly chip-free components after machining. Um, but the video says more than 1,000 words, so let's have a look on the Maximil SEC 12 product video. I mean, Marcus, you're, you know, you have a lot of experience in the automotive industry. Um, you know, what is the, you know, the reason that a, a product like this was created? What is the, you know, some of the reasons why you would need a uh, face mill cutter with suction effect? The challenge of design such a product with the suction effect was first to reduce the cost of rework on the workpiece for our customer. By this, I mean, chips can that get stuck in holes and pockets after machining, um, the suction effect reduced this by 99%. As we all know, there are a lot of good tools on the market that can be used for milling over surfaces, but we are thinking about what else we can integrate as a special feature for our customer in order to be able to produce even more economically and that's how our Maximil SEC 12 with suction effect came out for a perfect chip-free performance on the workpiece. 
So it's really the reduction of the chips causing damage to the surface area of the workpiece, chips that are left behind from the initial cuts that, you know, make you then have to do rework. So at the end of the day, if this rework is not necessary, it's a huge, you know, cost and time saving for our customers. Um, yeah, that's that awesome. Right. Really cool. How, how does it work? How do you make a tool that, you know, achieves such a suction effect? Uh, maybe Salvatore, you can tell us a little bit. How does this tool actually work? Brian, this is a secret. Oh, okay. We don't, we don't give out uh, company secrets on the cut. That's true. <laughs> no, uh, I no. Mean, what is the I will tell you. Behind how it works? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I will tell you. Cool. So with special computer software, we were able to rebuild the forces under rotation in the milling process. And at the end, it took a lot of time, yeah? The direction how the chips can be controlled to fly away from the component while machining. Yeah? And the result was the need of high cutting speed, so minimum 1,000 meters per minute, and the more, the better, yeah? The positioning of the inserts in the milling cutter body and the really special chip groove in the inserts. The coolant supports this process secure chip control, but a really amazing topic is that the suction effect works also with dry machining, with MQL and air cooling with amazing tool life results. Cool. So it's really a combination of the tools design itself with these additional features that, you know, it's not just the suction effect alone that helps to pull the chips away, but a combination of, uh, you know, a number of different factors that lead to, you know, good chip removal and a really quality yeah. component at the end. Tell yeah, me a there's bit. a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, sorry for no, interrupting, go ahead, there's go ahead. a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of technology in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I will show a picture mm -hmm. um, on the following pictures on the left side, you can see the real problem yeah, where the chips stuck into the water jacket, uh, for example, in a crankcase. Yeah? And on the left side, you can see our technical solution. Yeah? Cool. Very interesting. Yeah, this is... Uh... Very cool. I mean, what is the most typical types of components for which a uh, face mill like this is used for? What is the most typical use case for this tool? Good question, Brian. Uh, of course, the face milling cutter is made for all face milling applications. But first of all, the tool has been designed for complex work pieces where many holes and pockets are contained where chips can drop and stick in. But typical work pieces for the maximal SEC 12 are gearbox housing, energy blocks, and battery trays. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, it's a pretty versatile tool. It can be utilized for a number of, uh, of different applications. That's also uh, really good. Um, what are the you know, biggest advantages to a customer that are utilizing a, a system like this? You know, what is the, the main, you know, fee, you know, if you're gonna use a face mill with suction cutting, what are the obvious, you know, benefits for a customer using this type of tool? Okay, Brian, I can tell you what we're we are thinking in the development stadium. Our main target was to make the customer happy with a product portfolio that increases the profitability for his machining process as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But in the end, uh, the costs and how profitable you can uh, work the application is the most important thing yeah, for a company. And I can give you some examples. Yeah? One of the part was the reduction of effort for manual chip removing. We talked a lot about it now. This means at the end for the customer time and money savings. We wanted to have to receive a tool life above the general market average. 
that saves tool changes and insert costs for our customers. No adjustment effort, time and money savings. The modular design complete available from stock and all standard components. That means that we are able to offer the best price uh, performance ratio and shortest lead time. At the end, we are talking not only about savings in cost per part, we are talking about complete process cost savings. I can give you a customer example, the newest okay, currently. Cool. Yeah. Our newest happy customer was able to reduce the current tooling costs by 51% and reduce the production time by 29% in the same application with our Maximil SEC 12. These are over 9,000 euro cost savings per year for rough milling all six sides on a cylinder head, so-called the cubing. Mm -hmm. The cost per part reduction from seven cent to three cent. I think this is an amazing result. And at the end, we are proud to list one more happy and satisfied customer to our partnership. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think it's a great example of, you know, how it's process optimization, right? It's not just, hey, we have a great tool, give it a try. It's, you know, here's a tool designed on a need that was driven by the customer that leads to optimized processes, which leads to more efficient business for the customer as well. So well, I think it's, it's a great example of process optimization. Now you yes, mentioned a, a little bit uh, that the tool, it's, it's not a specialized tool, right? This is a, you know, uh, not a custom tool. It's a tool where we offer kind of a modular, um, you know, system around. Marcus, maybe you can tell us a little bit about, you know, the, the product and the portfolio of, of inserts surrounding it. Yes, it's a special product, but it's available from stock in different diameters. Okay. The diameter range starts uh, at 40 millimeters and ends at 160 millimeter. Uh, look in the online store is definitely worth it. To product is also described again in all details. Cool. But for the customer, he can have some special tools in some other um, in a other diameter range, mm -hmm. who are not in stock. But I think it's great for the customer to come back for. Yeah, this this special uh, feature of the Serati Sith Group. Yeah, the diameters that are on stock are obviously you know chosen carefully to make sure it suits the majority of the needs on the market uh, based on the customer de demand. I'm sure, um, but as you mentioned, uh, it's uh, you know possible to create you know custom diameters in certain cases as well if necessary. So. Very versatile tool, very versatile component. Um, yeah, really interesting. Um, I don't know. Do you guys have any other, you know, things that you want to bring up that to highlight anything special about the tool, or um, does this kind of cover everything that uh, you guys were looking to 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 talk about today? I think um, we talked a lot about the benefits and everything. I want to point out that. It's a product, and this product is really impressive. Yes, it works. But I want to point out that the whole benefit of the product is reached with our support, personal, at the customer. Yeah. Also, when we are in Corona times, we can support. Uh, we are online and. Uh, I think that's a really big benefit to have someone in the background who can support the product. Yeah. And absolutely, like not I just buy a tool. Yeah, not yeah. just buy a tool and and good luck. Hope hope it works for it's you. Process sure optimization. Yeah. 
your support from from beginning throughout the use of the tool, optimize speeds and feeds, helping the customer to get the best result possible, right? Of course. So is the uh, tool system modular and what kind of advantages does this offer the customer? Yes, the tool is modular and offers the customer a fast and uncomplicated rear order for the PCD cutting plates, the tool holder, and of course, also the spare parts. Yeah, it's brilliant for the customer. So the SEC12, it's a big face miller, you know, used probably commonly in a lot of roughing applications. Um, is there something similar like this uh, for, for finishing, for, you know, finishing surface areas or? Yes, of course. Um, we currently have two types of PCD finish face milling cutters. It's the HPC12 with PCD inserts. So I can show this milling cutter to you. Uh, mm -hmm. um, this is the best choice if you want to have maximum economic efficiency. And the second product is our 3D printed milling cutter. Here you can see it. This is the best choice for maximum performance. You can see with the 3D printing, we can put as much teeth as possible. But both types don't have the suction effect. Mm -hmm. In our current development, we were able to start market tests for finish milling with the popular suction effect. The first results look very promising. Our target is to launch the finished portfolio as soon as possible. On the other hand, we will take the necessary time until the product triggers the necessary euphoria at our different test customers. We had really good experience at the development of the roughing portfolio to do this this way. So at the end, I want to say, please feel free to contact us if there is any interest of the maximum SEC 12. I'm looking forward. Awesome, Salvatore. That sounds really cool. There's some exciting stuff to look forward to in the future. And I, uh, I think it's cool, you know, Sarah, it is not just rush out a product, uh, you know, add the suction effect. Uh, on, we, we take the time to make sure it achieves maximum efficiency and take the necessary time to test uh, to make sure that it, you know, once we offer it to our customers, it's already a very effective uh, and exciting tool. As uh, Salvatore also said, you can find uh, more information about this product on the cuttingtools.seratizit.com website. Um, there's a special landing page uh, with video content and additional information. Also a flyer, which is available for download where you can get further details on this product. And also as Salvatore mentioned, uh, feel free to reach out and contact us. And if you are interested in uh, you know, this type of uh, tooling as a possible solution for optimizing your processes. Thank you, Salvatore. And thank you, Marcus, for joining me today on The Cut, uh, giving us some insight into this uh, exciting product that uh, Seratizit utilizes to support not only the automotive industry, but uh, you know, any customers looking to do some face milling. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. And uh, thanks for joining us on uh, this episode of The Cut. Thank you. And thank bye you, Brian. Bye. And one thing from my side, I will all people who work on this project to say thank you and we are Sarah Tissit. Bye. Very cool. Excellent. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you. thank you very much. Bye.